So now I'm going to go ahead and map the destination to filter cutoff, which is this knob right here. So what we, what we want to be able to do is adjust this cutoff knob uh, via our mod wheel in real time, because we can do it with our mouse right now. What I'd like to be able to do is control that via my mod wheel. So I'm going to set the cutoff at the lowest point that I want it to be able to go. And then I'm going to choose the source to be control one, which is my mod wheel. And then you're going to drag this slider up the amount you want to be able to open up that cutoff. So you can make it very aggressive and prominent or just a subtle change if you used a smaller percentage. And this is how the mod matrix works in this plugin and in ES2. Uh, you can choose any of the options available to you. So you can adjust volume, you can adjust filter resonance, you can even modulate pitch. Uh, but this is just a basic example. So I'd recommend scrolling through the presets to see how uh, the different mod matrixes are preset. You can learn some really cool techniques from checking out the presets. But for now, you know how to modulate filter cutoff in EXS24. So now let's go over and do the exact same thing, but in the ES2 plugin. I'm going to drag this out a little bit bigger so you can see it. So right now we can see that ES2 has two filters. So we can either modulate one or both via the mod matrix. And right now you can hear as I move my mod wheel up, there's actually already a mapping in the mod matrix that's been made for the filter cutoff, uh, cutoff two. So the target is set as cutoff two and the source is set as the mod wheel. So as we move the mod wheel up, this cutoff knob for filter two is being opened up automatically. We could do the same thing manual if we wanted to. That's working pretty nicely. So I want you to note that there's a blend option between the two filters. So we can actually go back and forth between the two and adjust how the sound is tweaked. So since this cutoff is already mapped for us, why don't we go ahead and add in another layer of texture. We're going to modulate the blend of the filters. I'm going to go down here and choose filter blend. And then we're going to choose the mod wheel. And we're going to choose a negative percentage so that as the mod wheel goes up, the blend is going to move to the left. And you don't see it visually represented on screen. You just have to look in the mod matrix to see that these mappings are made. So that's how you can use the mod matrix within ES2. And you can choose a, a via modifier, so you could modulate it further via an LFO, which is a time synced effect, or an envelope 2 or 1, which is going to give you a similar rise and fall as the amp envelope in envelope 3 but it's not gonna affect your overall sound, just the, the uh, individual effect in the mod matrix. Now we're gonna do the same thing in RetroSynth. And again, if some of this feels overwhelming or like it's over your head, don't worry. I'm throwing the information at you. If some of it sticks, then that is great. You can always come back to this video and watch it again, or you can just check out the presets to see how the modulation matrix is used in main stage uh, to achieve all sorts of different sounds. All right, so let's check out the retro synth sound that we have dialed in. So I'm going to play around with the filter here. Now this filter is a little bit more visual than the filters in ES2 or EXS24. It's actually this dot you can drag around, and as you drag it up, it increases in resonance. And to the left is less cutoff, or, uh, or well, the cutoff is dialed back. And as you dial it to the right, the cutoff opens up. So we're going to set the point that we want the cutoff to start right there. And then we're going to go in here to settings, as I showed you before, and we're going to adjust the mod wheel to filter cutoff. So mod wheel two, we have selected filter cutoff, and then we're going to have it boost by about 
So that gives us a lot of flexibility in all three of these plugins.